A social media post threatening to shoot and kill students in the Greece Arcadia cafeteria circulated last night among students and parents. Greece police, along with the district, say a student made the post and is now awaiting disciplinary action. Eriketa Koss has been following this story today. She joins us live in the newsroom with more. Eriketa. That's right, Jack. The district tells me security and Greece police were at the student's door within 20 minutes of the post. They say the student admitted to posting something as a joke to a small group of friends, removing it shortly after and acknowledging it was a poor decision. Now police determined there was no threat at the school today, but parents are still shaken. As soon as I saw the decision was made, no school. That's the voice of Greece Arcadia parent who wanted to remain anonymous. This morning, he chose not to send his student to school out of caution. As a parent, it's very alarming. There's been five school shootings since the school year started multiple states. That's not a threat we can take lately as parents. Here's part of the student-made Snapchat that made its rounds last night. It lists off several names of students who we've cropped out, saying, quote, if you are on this list, congrats. If you are on the list, don't come to school tomorrow. My goal is to kill everyone. I'm hitting the cafe first, end quote. There's real consequences to things like this. Jared Renee with Greece Police was among one of the responding officers and says this is a case where everyone cooperated as they showed up and no threat was determined after thorough interviews and screening. The bottom line is, is the school district and the school employees, the staff, the students need to go to school the next day feeling comfortable that something was done about it, something was done quickly, efficiently. Security guard Steve Shatterton says all those parents and students who reported this right away were doing the right thing. If you see something, say something. We would rather be wrong on a tip than you know, have something tragic happen at a school. Meanwhile, parents saying it's going to be hard to forget this one. Why? What is going on that these kids are doing this? Now, police urge parents and students to submit to the district's hotline for any tips they ever see. If anything worries them online or at school, as for the parent I spoke with, he's considering homeschooling down the road for his child, especially with recent school shootings across the nation in the past few years. For now, in the newsroom, Eric had a cost. News 8. Ericetta, thank you. In a statement, the district says the student does not have access to weapons and will not be permitted on school grounds pending disciplinary action. They say resource officers and security professionals are posted on campus every day to safeguard students and staff.